We, we can go without it, it's fine. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Stephanie Dollins and I'm a patient advisor here at ImageLib. I'm also a patient and I'm happy to share my personal experience. I work in aesthetics for many years and I'm so proud to be part of the ImageLib team. We're all so excited to have you here today and help you find what you've been looking for. Dr. Rich is a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. He's performed well over 10,000 cosmetic procedures of the face index. He's also the Wall Street Journal best-selling author of the book you were given today. Dr. Rich lectures all around the country and he takes a lot of media requests. We'll show you some of that video footage in just a moment. But now if you take a second to silence your phones, we'll get started. Is wearing something new. Dr. Rich cast a lot of money. Dr. Richard Castellano says laser light policies gets these both. Dr. Rich Castellano. The board certified facial plastic surgeon is one of the first in the country to use Google Glasses while he's working on patients. Dr. Rich Castellano says that's one main reason behind this new trend. Less expensive, less invasive cosmetic face procedure. So she turned to Dr. Richard Castellano for an image look. Thanks to Dr. Castellano, and I just feel like I'm really proud of Dr. Castellano says he's seen a spike in patients like Elizabeth who feel they are being discriminated against because of their looks. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Dr. Rich Castellano. Our fillers, one of you was asking me, are you going to talk about non-invasive? 
And yes, we can do fillers where there's no downtime, life treatment. So we're going to talk about all that here today, and not from a beginner or novice or intermediate point of view. Because most practitioners out there, there's a lot of them that are doing these treatments. A lot of them are beginners or intermediate level. And you don't want somebody practicing on your face. Right? OK. So when we're all done, what we're going to do is we're show you before and after pictures. You're going to have a chance to hear from some of our patients who have had treatments done, right? And then when we're done, we'll do a one-on-one -on -one where we'll go through your goals and we'll put a plan together. So before you leave, you'll have a plan about what's right for you. Does that make sense? And it doesn't take us that long, even though there's a lot of people here. Now, is anybody curious about how much these things cost? We're going to talk about that, too. All right. And how long they last. And how long they last. Right, very good. And we have permanent fillers. We're going to go through all of those things. Thank you very much. Now, I showed this picture. So that's me when I was uh, seven years old. I was on crutches there. And those are my uh, brothers, Doug and David, and my cousins, Curtis and Eric. And I show this picture because it talks about my why. People ask me, well, why do you like to do these things? So I'm going to tell you about my why. Before I do, I like to talk to you about your why. Why are you here today? Everyone in this room, there is a reason for each of you that you picked up the phone, or you emailed us, or you got dragged here by somebody else. But whatever the reason is that you're here, there is a reason why. When we go on this journey of looking and feeling our best, doing it very safely, making sure that you look natural, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. You know what I'm talking about? You ever gone onto Google and try to search up how to do a facelift, laser treatment, and the information you get back is like, oh my gosh. People do it all different kinds of ways. Everything looks good. Is that going to work for me? It's overwhelming. If you get overwhelmed on the journey, just come back to your reason why. People tell me all the time, they say, well, I've raised my family, it's time for me. Or I've got a reunion coming up, or there's a wedding, and I want to look good for the wedding, or I'm into a new relationship, yeah. or some patients tell me they got through a health issue, and now they want to invest in themselves. Whatever your reason why is, remember that, and that will always help you focus on what's right for you. Does that make sense? Okay. So my reason why, it started out, why do I do what I do? When I was seven, I spent two and a half years of my life in, you know, on crutches and in a wheelchair because I had a hip condition. Okay? When I was 11, my mom was diagnosed with schizophrenia. It was a very tumultuous. My parents got a divorce, and I struggled with depression through high school and college. But one thing that I found is that no matter how low I may have been feeling, if I spent time around people, and smiling, and laughing, and having a good time, it made a difference in my life. It would lift me up and it made me feel better. And I got to a point in my life where I realized the struggles I'd gone through. And when I look back, I, I looked at all the people that were there for me, who helped me, my doctors, my family, my friends, that got me through the tough times. And I said, you know, I want to do that for other people. I know how important this is for you. And we want to do it the right way. So that's my little short story on why I like to do what I do. My why is to help others as I have been helped. And those are my smile partners. Those are my kids. They're all teenagers now. So that was never a dull moment with the kids. So in the office, I used to wear this thing everywhere. I still wear this. It's a HEPA filter when I'm doing procedures. When I'm up close and doing procedures for a good bit of time, I wear that. It just blows the air through. It's a nice little helmet. It's comfortable. It's light. And at the end of the day, when I'm done, I can just hop on my motorcycle and drive home. I still have my helmet on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but when you see us in the office wearing those, that's why we're wearing it. Of course, we've been boosted and vaccinated and all those things. And thank goodness we're in a much better place now than where we were. I mean, it was pretty scary. I personally have two physician friends that died from the pandemic. It's just awful. And though they obviously weren't the only ones, right? So at least we made it to today, and we, of course, we take all the precautions, but thank goodness we're in a better place now. But that's why I wear those in the office. Now, we've been through a lot with this pandemic. This too shall pass, and now, more than ever, patients are coming out, wanting to do treatments, and they're ready to do something. I love to brag about my team. So we have over 30 staff dedicated to your care. And every day, I feel like I'm at the Ritz-Carlton. They take amazing care of me. They're going to take great care of you. 
And before the pandemic, we would rent out the Tampa Convention Center and we would invite doctors. They would travel from across the country. They would bring, fly in their staff, pay for their staff to have a ticket. They paid thousands of dollars, got hotel rooms, airfare, all that, so they could learn from us and what we do. And we had credentialing in that they got their medical, uh, certi certified medical uh, education credits from coming to us. So we're very proud to be leaders in the industry. And of course, my team helped me put on those amazing events. Now, you can have access to our team face-to-face, -face, but we're also available virtually. We do virtual consults all the time. And if our patients are traveling, coming from out of town, internationally, we can handle that. We just need to know what you need. So we are always just a phone call away, a video call away, or hop into the office, or whatever is easiest for you. So we're gonna be safe, we're gonna be smart, and do this the right way. So we talked about your reason why. It's very important because it does happen. People get that feeling of overwhelm, and then we just, everybody take a big deep breath in with your hands. Okay, it's gonna be good. We'll guide you the right way. I've been down this road before, so your reason why will help you the right way. So let's dive right into it. Now, I love to talk about the ABCs of plastic surgery when you know the ABCs of plastic surgery, you will make the best decisions because you understand the bigger picture. So, simple and straightforward. A, A stands for area, and I would recommend that you write this down and take some notes. There are four areas that we address to improve our facial appearance. Very simple and straightforward. Number one, if we sag, we can tighten, right? That's simple and makes sense, so that's number one. Four areas, if we sag, we tighten. Number two, if we lose volume, we can fill, right? And plumping, and we're just putting back the volume that was once there. Number three, sun damage wrinkles and sunspots, we can polish and repair the skin. The fourth area that we address to improve our facial appearance is better than all the others. That's our behavior. None of our treatments look as good as Mother Nature's free facelift. When we smile. We always look our best when we smile, right? It plumps up our cheeks. We like the shape of our face when we smile, right? <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. Do you know how when you do something nice for someone else, it just makes you feel good on the inside? You know what I'm talking about? Do me a favor. I want you to turn to who's next to you or look up front here. Give somebody a big smile. Give them a big smile. Give them a big smile. Even if, even if we're wearing masks, there's a lot of love in this room. Even if we're wearing masks, you know if people are smiling. You can tell. And not only does it look good, it makes other people feel good. Could you feel the energy in the room? All I did was ask you to change your appearance and share it with someone else. How beautiful that was. We should do that more often. So the smile always looks the best. So tightening, four areas. Tightening, volume, skin, and behavior. That's what helps us look better. Are you with me so far? Now that's A for area. B stands for boundaries. What are the rules? What are the guidelines that we must abide by for your best treatment? Number one is safety is always first, right? It must be. We're going to keep you safe. In fact, we hire an outside consulting firm. They monitor our practices to make sure we're always raising our standards. Safety is always first. Number two, you must look natural. And you will. I guarantee it. Safety first, number one. Number two, you must look natural. Number three, let's prevent future aging. If we're lucky, aging keeps coming for us, right? Better than the alternative. So prevention is very powerful. Number four, let's get as much improvement as possible. Now, we can't make things perfect. We're not God. We do the best we can, and if we need to come back another day and do more, that's better than going too far. Are you with me so far? All right. So, A for area, B for boundaries. C, ABCs, C stands for combination treatments. If you want your best results, we know how to do that. We combine combine tightening volume and skin treatments for the best overall results. Because you're just addressing the, all of the things that have changed, right? If one of my patients wants their best result, but they say, I just want to do one treatment, then we usually talk about tightening, 
or lifting, sometimes laser, or lifting. If someone wants their best results with no downtime, filler. Filler does a great job, but it does not give us the same results as a facelift, right? Does that make sense? Okay. And even though we get great results with our facelift and laser treatments, we can do better if we combine. So if you understand those strategies, combination, solo treatments, and fillers, it just makes things predictable about wherever you start, if you want more than what you've achieved, you can take the next step. Are you with me so far? Okay. D stands for different perspectives. We never see ourselves the same way other people see us, even though we're looking at the same thing. Why is that? Why don't we see it the same way? It's because when we look at other people, we look at them socially. We smile, we animate, we move our face. When we look at ourselves in the mirror, we do not look socially. We look seriously. We look for imperfection. And it can make us feel bad. And the longer we look, the worse it makes us feel. Why do we do that? And we just keep looking. We can't stop looking. It's driving me crazy. This is the reason some people go too far. We're too hard on ourselves, and we don't have the right doctor to protect us. It happens all the time. I'm not going to let that happen, but that's why we talk about it. Are you with me so far? So please give yourselves a big hand. You know your ABCs. Now I want you to think about this. There are over 330 million Americans in the United States, and do you know how many of them are doing cosmetic treatments? A lot of them. And most of them, they don't know their ABCs. So you are ahead. We're going to keep you on track, make sure you're safe, and of course we want you to have your best results that you love. So. We went through our rules, our filler philosophy. We're not going to be too hard on ourselves, right? Because we don't want to go too far and we won't let that happen. So now, I'm going to share the story about Judy. Judy is a patient of ours, and so let's talk about her why. Judy raised her family. The kids left the house. She became an empty nester, and then she became a caregiver for her parents. Has anybody here ever been a caregiver before? Is that easy being a caregiver? Very difficult, can be emotional, hard to get a break, stressful. Judy was a caregiver for her parents for 20 years of her life. Now she's an angel. She was there for them. She did what she was happy to do it. And then when her parents passed, unfortunately, her husband fell ill. She was his caregiver for an additional 10 years. 30 years being a caregiver. Judy made a confession. so much. This was Judy. Very kind, respectful. She told me about her family. She told me about her goals. We sat down in front of the mirror, and as we sat down, I examined her, and I said, how does this look? I pulled back. She says, I like that. It looks natural. It looks good. And I said, some patients get a little more. Some get a little less. We need to come back another day and do more. Better than going too far. She says, I like your philosophy. She says, I don't need to look like a teenager but just I want to refresh. Now she brought her daughter with her for moral support, so she gave her daughter the side eye. What do you think? Her daughter said, you go for it, Mom. It's your time. So Judy did a laser image lift. We did eye of the treatment, and under the eyes we did some fillers, and here are her results. So very proud of Judy. Really wonderful result. Looks natural, and under the eyes you don't have to do surgery there. We can do filler. No downtime with that part of it. And of course, we trim a little eyelid skin and she had some recovery with the lip. Now, I'm so proud of our patients. Just this morning, I was seeing patients in their follow-ups. 
and I love to ask them, what has the response been? What have people been saying? And they tell me, they say, well, they just can't figure out what I did. They think I changed my hair, or boy, you lost some weight, or that outfit looks really good on you. Living in Florida has been good for you. <laughs> but they can't figure it out. She told me a story. She said her son was driving her in the car, and they get a flat tire, so he pulls over, he's working on the tire, another couple stop to help him. And they start a conversation, and as they're talking, they ask her son, how's your wife doing in the car? And she loves being mistaken for her son's wife. And I'm looking at her, and just seeing her standing taller and smiling more. You know, she told me that she'd been attending her church for a while, and for the very first time, she became a greeter. Well, it's so good to see you. Let me get the door for you. Come right this way. We're so glad that you're here. And it made me think about when I first met Judy, and she told me about raising her family and being a caregiver for her family and her husband, putting herself through all of those things, selflessness. And she finally made the decision to do something for herself and to see her smile and enjoy it and stand taller and laugh more. It just, it still gives me goosebumps. This and this is what we can do every day in our office. So I'm really excited to be here and talk with you, to share with you what we can do. Because in this room, we have many active years ahead of us. We want to make the best of them and do it the right way. So that's Judy's story. Now, everybody's different. And when you hear enough stories, you'll get an idea. OK, this is probably what it's going to be like for me. So let's, let me share another patient with you. So this is Sally. Now, what was Sally's why? She was very active. She's a swimmer. And her why was this under here. It really bothered her. Friends would take pictures. And she'd see the pictures afterwards. And she's like, oh my gosh. <gasps> and she would run from the camera. She told me, she's like, well, they don't, there's no more pictures of me. Because I don't want the camera comes out. It's like, no, no, no. She runs away. She did not want to take a lot of downtime. So what did we do? We did the local anesthesia lift, the image lift. We tightened under the neck and jawline. She did laser treatment. Beautiful neck and jawline. Difficult to see the incision. She would bring donuts to the office when she came in. So we loved seeing Sally. So that was her story why. Now she loves to take pictures. Right? And she looks natural. And if she didn't tell her family or friends, whoever she didn't tell, they never knew what she did. They can't figure it out. So that was Sally's story. This is Mary. What was Mary's why? This under her neck similarly bothered her, but these smile lines here, they really bugged her. They, she called them her puppet lines. She came to a seminar similar to this. We finished the seminar, we did the one-on-one, -on -one, and she put her deposit down. She said she's ready to go, so I see her. She's like, Dr. Rich, I put my deposit, I'm gonna do it, and I, we give her a big hug. We're so excited, celebrating, and I said, Mary, I'm curious, how long have you been wanting to do this for? She says, well, I guess I've been want to do this for five years now. I said, five years? What's been holding you back? She said, you know, I had this property that I didn't know what to do with, and I was helping a family member, and I was doing this and that, and she was just so overwhelmed. What changed? She met with our team. Our team put a plan together. You just need one way to cross the finish line, and they will help you. If you're stuck, just let them know you will be amazed how flexible the process can be. Because one of my mottos, there is always a way. I promise you, I've had so many patients tell me, I can't do this, no, I really want to, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, and then they say, yes, you got it done, I love it, it's great, why did I wait so long? Okay, so if something holds you back, let us know, you'll be amazed how flexible the process can be. Now. So that's Mary's story. Now this next before and after I'm gonna share with you, it really is my very best result. It's the latest in technology, the power of smile, all of my 4,000 facelifts experience. I want you to pay very close attention to this to see what is possible when you have the very best. <laughs> someone, and this is what they're looking for. 
we have to have a talk. Yeah. There's a limit. That's why we do the one-on-one. -on -one. So we're here to help you, and no matter where the expectations are, we're going to help set the right expectations. Which is natural. We'll keep you safe. And if we need to come back another day and do more, that's better than going too far. This is artistry, right? And we never use the words gone, take away, get rid of, but you will see big changes in your before and after pictures, just like you see here. So that's actually my daughter. She was in third grade in that photo. And as a third grader, she would invite me to her school for lunch. And it was so cute. It was a room similar to this that I would take off from work, bring my bag lunch, and she would have her little lunch box with her little juice box. And we'd walk all the way around find a place to sit with her little friend, she's so adorable. Now my daughter, she's 19, she's off to college, and she does not invite me to lunch anymore. <laughs> so she's coming home for Easter, so let's see, maybe I'm gonna have some lunch with my daughter. We're very proud of her. This is Melba, Melba's in her 70s here. What was Melba's why? In Melba's words, she says, I never used to look at myself, she would just get ready right in the mirror and out the door. And Melba was very active. She used to clog. And one day in her clogging class, her friend Dale walked in. And she looked at her and she said, Dale, you look amazing. What did you do? And Dale told her, oh, nothing. And Melba could not figure it out. And she pulled her aside privately. And Melba was very persistent. She said, you could have done this. Now, what did you do? She said, well, I went to the seminar with Dr. Rich and did some treatment. And Melba came straight to our next seminar. And I remember, this was uh, when we did all of our procedures here in Tampa. We have an office in the Villages as well. And we have our brand new office opening in Tampa soon. It's beautiful. You just have to come and see this office. It's so amazing. Melba came to our Tampa office. She did her lift. We loved her results. So here are her results. She had a nickname for this area. She called it her Richard Nixon jowl. We did the lift, laser, filler treatment, upper and lower eyelids. And she's also done a touch-up treatment. Very difficult to see the incision, even if you wear your hair short, right? So she's very happy, and that was her reason why. Her friend looked great. She's like, I want to refresh. Melba said, I didn't even know that was possible. So her reason why is she wanted to feel good, and Melba's in her 80s now. She still comes out to our events, and she'll share, like we'll hear from some of our patients today, about her experience. So we're very proud of Melba. This is Jeannie. Jeannie's a nurse. We have a lot of medical personnel that come through because they don't want to go to a hospital where people are sick. They want, we have a private suite where we do all the treatments, all under local anesthesia. Most patients stay with me in the dentist's office. So, and like I said, that we have that outside consulting firm always raising our safety standards. So Jeannie came through, got a beautiful result. She sent one of her family members afterwards. When people come in, their family and friends follow. We're very proud of Jeannie. Harold is an educator. What was his why? He was in front of people all the time. He was leading younger teachers. He didn't want to be thought of as too old, right? Or doesn't know what he's talking about. So he wanted a refresh. And he's got an amazing wife, wanted to look good for her. He doesn't grow his hair long to hide the incision, and it's difficult to see, so we're very proud of Harold. Now Mary, what was Mary's reason why? Mary loved spending time with her grandson. She had a grandson who was five at the time. They would play, have fun, read stories, and when they were reading, he'd sit on our lap every time he would reach his little hand up and grab her neck. <laughs> she hated that. She told me this story. I said, okay, you've come to the right place. We did a treatment for her, got a nice improvement. She was not satisfied. What do we do? We brought her back another day. We did more. Now she's happy. So we need to come back another day and do more better than going too far. And now her grandson doesn't have anything to grab onto anymore. So she's really happy about that. Al, what was Al's reason why? Al wanted to start dating. And he felt when he was meeting people, it took away from his confidence. He didn't want them to think, well, that's too old for me. So I said, well, here's your options. I said, you do not need a traditional facelift. You don't need general anesthesia. You don't need surgical drains. No surgical staples, no IV, no, no, no surgical rays, no surgical staples, no general anesthesia, no IV sedation. You don't need it. We can do the image lift. The image lift is where you take relaxing medicine by mouth, Valium. We do numbing like in the dentist. We lift the skin and tighten the muscle. It's not a thread lift. We use surgical stitches and we do tighten the muscle and then we remove the extra skin. That's the image lift and we tighten under the chin as well. There's the mid lift. 
if somebody says, you know, I just feel like I want a little less or it's easier for the budget, you can do the mid. Then there's the mini. Now, a lot of doctors won't do the mini because they say it doesn't get a good result. But we have a lot of patients that are very happy with the mini. How do you know if the mini's right for you? If someone says this, if they say this under here, I don't care, it doesn't bother me. But I like this. That can be someone who's good for a mini. Or think of it another way. If someone says, you know, if I do a lift and I still have something under here, I'm not going to be happy. Then I don't recommend the mini. Okay. So I had this conversation with Al. I said, Al, because of what I see here, we should probably do the image lift or the mid. That's what I recommend. Well, what does he say? Just do the mini. I'll be happy with that. Do your best. Now, whatever you choose, I'll go for the gold. I'll go for the best that I can. This is artistry, right? We're not God. We do the best we can. We did the mini lift. Wonderful result. I'm very proud. But if you look closely, you can see he still has something under here. He's okay with that. But some of my patients, they would not be happy. That's why we do the one-on-one -on -one to make sure we want to match your expectation. Okay? We can't make things perfect. We go as far as we can. And we put the plan together so that you'll be happy. That's what we did for Al. And then boosted his confidence so he could put himself out there again and beat people. Now, laser tightening, one day later, when I do the internal laser tightening, we remove the fat. And it tightens the skin. It's like the elastic. The skin loses its elasticity. Like the elastic, it gets stretched, right? So the laser helps to tighten the skin. And that's one day later with no downtime. Now this is six months later. We did the laser to tighten the jawline and we did a little filler. So the laser under the skin does a really good job, but nothing, and Monica came on TV to demonstrate her results on uh, as well. Nothing compares to what the image lift can do because the laser tightens the skin, the lift will tighten the muscle and remove the extra skin. So I could, and this is one year later, I combined them. I combined it for Judy. Judy did laser to tighten the skin, lift to tighten the muscle, and lift to remove the extra skin. Deb has a radio show. She's a fitness instructor. She did laser to tighten the skin, lift to tighten the muscle, and lift to remove the extra skin. RJ's an actress in movies and television. I can't get this type of improvement unless I'm combining the technology. Now, remember how we talked about combination treatments get the best results? This is combination treatment for Diane. When we're young, look how full of volume we are. If you look at your photos in your 20s, you'll see how the volume changes. So now, as we age, we lose skin, we lose muscle, we lose fat. We also lose bone. And we can get a little bit shorter as we get older, right? So bony prominences, the back of the jaw. You can feel, take your finger, put your finger up in here like this, and just feel your jawbone like this. Your chin bone, the, the cheekbone and the brow bone. All those bony areas, they do get a little shorter as we get older, and the facial mass will start to sag forward. So it's a simple strategy. Just put back the volume that was once there. Okay. So she's got the jowl. She has the hollow for the loss of volume. We did lift and filler. Beautiful result for Diane. Katie is a nurse in a figure skater. Full jawline. But now she's lost the bone and jowling. Lift combination treatment, lift and filler. Liz is 18 here, and now she's in her 70s. Hollow and loss of volume, jowling, combination treatment, gets the best result. Fillers, no downtime. This gentleman did 16 syringes of permanent filler, two sessions, less than 30 days. We won a national award for these types of results. Beautiful outcome, looks natural, no downtime at all. He said he had just a little bit of bruising. He's thrilled with his result. He looks younger. He looks healthier. Now, Laura is a busy practice manager. She did seven syringes full face of the permanent filler. A lot of patients say, I didn't know you had permanent filler. The most expensive filler is the temporary because we have to keep replacing. Now, this is artistry. There's a place for the temporary filler, and we'll show you your options so you can decide what's right for you. But certainly, most of our patients, they want the permanent filler. And it's a nice improvement for her. We also took the mole off of her cheek. It's subtle, and it prevents the show of future hollows. Very proud of Laura's results. Some people, now this is Arlena. She did combination treatment. You can see her jawline. We've done some fillers to build up the cheek. Arlena's in her 60s. We 
can see here the jawline. I can show you pictures all day long, the neck bands. We tighten and stitch those together. Looks natural, not overdone. Fillers. Some people fill just one area. So this patient came in, she did the filler, she was very happy. She came back six months later and said, how are you doing? She says, well, I like my fillers, but they're all gone. I said, well, let's take some pictures. So we put the pictures side by side. When she saw them, she says, I didn't realize my lines were that deep before. After we do a treatment, there's a famous saying that after a cosmetic treatment, our vision will get better and our memory will get worse. <laughs> the vision gets better after a treatment because when you do a treatment, we look at ourselves so closely and the vision gets better. We see things we never saw before. One eyebrow sits a little higher than the other. We have more wrinkles on one side than the other. The memory gets worse. We forget what we used to look like. It's very consistent. And I'll have patients that come to me and say, Dr. Rich, I'm not happy. And we look at the pictures side by side and they say, oh, oh, I see it now. So they were just looking in the mirror, looking at the same thing. They, didn't, they forgot what they used to look like. That's very normal. So that's why we always put the before and after side by side for you. When she saw our picture, she says, I like it. And we have the permanent filler. If somebody wants permanent filler, we've got that. It's very popular. Laser. Laser resurfacing. I saw a patient today. Beautiful laser result. It's a burn to the skin. You need about a week that you don't want to see people. And it looks like they have a sunburn that fades over about six or eight weeks. Does a great job. It's not for everyone, but it's a wonderful treatment if you really want to build the collagen and treat the deep wrinkles in the skin. My Aunt Shirley did the laser and the lip combination. She's in her 70s here. Now she's in her 80s. This is my cousin's wedding a couple years ago. And I saw Aunt Shirley over Christmas. I'm probably going to see her uh, this weekend for Easter. And I'm very proud of her. She looks great. Phyllis, she had a nickname for this area on her face. She called them her waffles. She said it looked like she fell asleep on a waffle iron. So we did the laser and the lift combination. Everything in life evolves. 30 years ago, if you told people what these devices could do today, what would they say? No way. No way. That's crazy. And not only is this amazing, but it's already outdated because they're the next model. Remember, they keep replacing it with something newer. What else has evolved? Have grandparents evolved? What were grandparents like at the turn of the century compared to grandparents of today? Grandparents today are active and athletic and they're living longer and they're more meaningful in their families' lives. And many of them are working or even raising some grandchildren. So thank goodness for that modern medicine. Grandparents have evolved, technology evolves, plastic surgery has also evolved. The tools we use are far superior the results, there is no comparison. It is much safer. There's never been a better time to do a cosmetic treatment. That's why we're so excited to be here and share what we can do for you. Sherry comes out to a lot of our events. She was an image consultant. So she would always make other people over, help them look good with their hair and their makeup and their, their wardrobe. She felt like she couldn't do anything else for herself. So she did her neck. She loved it. She never told her daughter. And her daughter didn't know. Jen helps us to set up a lot of these events. She's been working with us for over 13 years. And she's done treatments to tighten up the neck and jawline. Linda's here today. You'll hear from her. She had sun damage wrinkles and sunspots, loss of volume. We did lift, laser, filler combination. Very proud of Linda's results. She's been on TV to demonstrate her results with us. Now, surely, right, so you can't get this type of improvement without lifting. There's a tremendous result, and I saw Shirley not too long ago, looking great. It's been over five years now since she did her lift, and she shared a story that after she did her lift, three or four months later, her husband of 30 plus years had passed. So she was in a really low place, and she told us that doing her lift, you know, a lot of patients tell me that it gives them this boost that they weren't expecting. Like she felt it gave her the confidence to out there and meet other people and build her support system, build her network. And every day, I am so honored to be part of our patients' lives. I know that they're dealing with some things that are just unimaginable. But whatever's going on in their lives, I can help them feel better, look a little better, put a smile on their face, and keep them out of trouble. That's what we do best. So we're very proud of Shirley. We're proud of all of our patients. So let me ask you a question. Have you seen some results you've liked so far? 
Would you be happy if you had a result similar to what you see? You're in the right place. And as I told you, we're going to do the one-on-ones here in just a little bit. Some of you may be thinking, I'm ready to go. I know what I want to do. Here we go. Um, let's get started. And if some of you are thinking, oh, I really want to do this. But if there's something that holds you back, these are the most common things people tell me. If you see something here that holds you back, let us know. You'd be amazed how flexible the process can be. Some say, it's the finances. There's no way I can afford this now. I've got this expense, that, all these things going on. We have many flexible plans. Some people start small and do more things later. Even if we put a one or two year plan together, we can work this out so that it works for you. There is always a way, I promise you. If that holds you back, you let our team know. Some say, well, I've just got a busy schedule. I've got mahjong, pickleball, clubs. <laughs> There's no downtime, right? So if you have no downtime, we have no downtime treatments. So we can put something together that fits your schedule. Some of you are allergic to fear or allergic to pain. Now, how many of you watch our videos on Facebook? Right? If you watch our videos, you know a lot about us. You see how comfortable we keep patients. So if you're not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. Now, in my family, if somebody gets hurt and they need stitches, guess who gets home? And I'm happy to take care of them. And my niece was three when we got the call. She fell right in the middle of the floor. Poor thing, she fell and she had this gash. So she's coming into our office like this, her eyes are wide open like this. She's like, what am I getting into here? I said, hey, sweetheart, we're gonna take care of you. We're just gonna clean it up. We do a little pinch with the numbing, okay? And she's like this. So we do the numbing, and then her eyes get even wider, and I stop, and I say, you feeling any pain? And then the pinch kind of went away. She says, doesn't feel any pain. So we did more numbing, but the, it was taking effect. She couldn't feel it. That's how we're going to treat her. And she did not shed one tear. So we can keep my three-year-old comfortable. We can keep you comfortable, I promise. <laughs> And you can have a lollipop too, if that's what makes you feel good. That's what we do best. We take the fear out of it. Take whatever it takes. Some say, I would love to do something. It would just be so selfish. Because other people need it more. Or I'm helping this other person. Being selfish is being smart. When we do it the right way, we cannot pour from an empty cup. So being selfish is being smart. Now, we love to give, and we're the givers. We've raised our families, right? Your family and friends, are they going to talk about you behind your back for doing a cosmetic treatment? They are going to talk about you no matter what you do. You might as well do whatever you want, and don't worry about what they're going to say. So what holds you back? Let us know. We can help you get through. So this is what we talk about in a consultation. What are your areas of focus? What's in your heart? What is your why? If you feel stuck, if you feel overwhelmed, go back to your why. It will guide you to the right answer. I've been doing this a long time. Have you tried other treatments we want to know? And do you have downtime? You tell us these things. We'll get started with that in a moment. And we'll put your plan together. It doesn't take that long. Safety is always first. So as I mentioned, we have this outside consulting firm. They monitor our practices, always raising our safety standards. The local anesthesia lift is the safest way to do this treatment. Risks involved, we minimize that as much as possible. Needing our fluid collection, I can handle that in the office. You watch our videos, it's not a problem. Infection, we put you on an antibiotic, not a problem. Damage to surrounding structure, risk of a weak lip or eyelid. This procedure is designed to be more superficial to avoid that. Okay, it's not been a problem in my practice. We all have asymmetry to our face. My right eyebrow sits higher than my left. I tell patients we have asymmetry before and after, that's what makes us look natural. The ears can be numb after you do a lift. When the nerves go back, you might feel itchy, tingling, soreness, or pain. Most will say, it's numb. I don't really notice it. It's getting better, and then it goes away. Sometimes a deep stitch we put in can come out of the skin like a splinter. If that happens, that's easy to take care of. The risk of coming out to a hospital, not a heart attack or stroke, is rare. This is the safest way to do the treatment. Safer than general anesthesia, safer than IV sedation. The risk is somebody has to come back for a touch-up or an additional treatment. That's usually low, but if you need to come back another day and do more, that's better than going too far. Fillers, they're very safe. Risk of undercorrection, you can always put more. Risk of overcorrection, we won't let that happen. 
And when we do fillers, I work in combination. I have my master injectors, they do the filler, I do the procedure, we work beautifully together. Right? Now with fillers, risk of lump or bump formation with the filler, that's uncommon. And if it happens, it's treatable. Most people feel the filler and say, you know, I know the filler's there, but it feels, nat it feels natural. It feels like my normal skin. Some say, you know, I do feel something, but I don't see it. It doesn't bother me, I leave it alone. I don't think it's necessary to make an incision to take a nodule off. So my strategy, a little bit of filler over a large area to minimize or eliminate the risk for that. I use safety cannulas for most of our injections. What is a cannula? It's a soft needle. Less bruising, less trauma, risk of getting that filler into a blood vessel, from the scarring, loss of vision, damage to surrounding structures. It's rare. That's why we want the safety cannula and the expert injector. Risk of infection, reaction, prolonged swelling is rare, and that's treatable. So safety is always first. So what we're going to do now, ladies, if you want to come up and then share your story. So we're going to have some of our models come up and share their story. So let's give our models a big hand. <laughs> We honor their time. We buy them you know, uh, lunch to come out. So thank you, ladies, for coming out. We'll start out with Marty. So I've known Marty for many years. My brother's a dentist, and she used to work with my brother. And I went to visit my brother one day at his office, and Marty was there. So we got to know each other. Marty, can you share with us? We don't have a microphone, but just give me your voice, I know, and project. What was it that inspired you to have a cosmetic treatment? Um, just meeting Dr. Castellano inspired me. I had seen him. TV ads with regard to things that worked that day, and I saw his before and after pictures, and um, I wanted to be one of those after pictures. <laughs> so I was, I was 62 at the time, and I uh, was trying to get a little head start. I have two daughters, one turns 55 and one's 52, so I didn't want my daughter saying sometimes, I don't want to look like my mom when I get older. I want them to say, I want to look like my mom. <laughs> share her experience. What was it, Linda, that inspired you to do a cosmetic treatment? Well, when I was 66, or really it was at 65, we had our pictures taken at my mother's birthday party. And after the pictures, I was behind her, and I looked just like her. But I was 20 years younger.
So please take the time to meet them and get to know them. They're really wonderful people. Take the time to get to know our team. We have the most amazing office staff. They take wonderful care of me. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to start with those one-on-ones. And even though we have a lot of people here, it doesn't take that long. But before we start with the one-on-ones, remember how you shared a smile with your partner? Tell them one more time. Give them a big smile. We're all here. You let them know there's always a way. Tell them there's always a way. There's always a way. No matter what you're looking for, there's always a way. I thank you all for sharing your smiles with me because everything worthwhile starts with a smile. I look forward to talking to you.
that did fuck it was so painful. So painful. Now it was just it was just um, it was just uh, done with cream. Oh and that is even the part that hurt his way of doing it on Lando was that you go in the shower every four times a day, soaking milk and warm water like this. And then the hot water and, and four days. But what happened was all of these little whiteheads came out and I like had nuts. And what do they call um came out and I went crazy because I'm thinking. So I didn't pick up it. You could just feel like this in my mouth. So that freaks me out because if they come out, I'm just going to have to let mine fall. But I have a lot of this, a lot of this, and a lot of this coloration. And if he has something better than the CO2, or if he thinks I need this rather than a CO2, I have no problem. I'm always going to pick. Okay. Never done with it. I mean, I've been picking for 72 years. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so, and my neck is dry. But my neck is not bothering me that much. So, have you had a look at that? No. No. Oh my God. No. I've had nothing. Thank you. 
just put in the oven that you would like, which is what touches. Yep, so it's going to work out here. So, we're going over here. We're going to have a little bit of 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 a little bof a little bit of 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 a little
sold that to Just for your, just for your, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 